Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to manage your bookmarks. Check it out. Last week's video, we put out a video that showed you how to enable or disable your bookmark toolbar in Google Chrome. I would recommend watching that one first. You can check that up here in the top right hand corner. Once you've gone through that video, that will may make this a little bit easier because we are going to be referencing the bookmark toolbar in this particular video. Notice on mine that I do have the bookmarks toolbar enabled. So let's go in and look at how to actually add and then remove an actual bookmark. So let's go on over to yahoo.com. And in the top right hand corner, you will notice a little star. If the star is empty, that means that that, book, that page is not added to your bookmarks. To do that, left click on the star and a little bookmark added box is gonna pop up that's gonna want you to name it and then where you want to actually place that bookmark. You can choose the bookmarks toolbar so it will show up here at the top of the screen or if you have folders along that bookmark toolbar, you can go ahead and put it in that folder and it will show up in those. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it to the bookmarks bar. Once you've got everything where you want it, go ahead and click done and you'll notice that it's right here on the actual toolbar itself. If you want to remove it, there's one of two ways. You can right click on it and come on down and click delete. Or once again, you'll see that the star has turned blue indicating that it is a bookmark on your toolbar, a bookmark on your computer. You can left click it one more time and then click on remove and that will remove the bookmark from the toolbar or whatever folder that it was located in. The second thing we're gonna actually cover in today's video is how to use the bookmark manager. And you can access this one of two ways but what this does give you is it gives you an overview of different folders and different bookmarks that you have currently saved in your browser. So first way to access it is if you left click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, hover over bookmarks and left click on bookmark manager, that will open up that tab or the keyboard shortcut for that is if you hit control shift O, that will bring up the bookmark manager as well. Once you have the bookmark manager open, what this allows you to do is again, gives you an at a glance look at the different folders and bookmarks that you currently have saved in the browser itself. If you notice, I do have a couple folders in here. What you can do to see what is in those folders is just double left click on it. And that will show you exactly what's in that folder. Now you'll notice three little dots over here on the right hand side. These are the settings or the actions, I guess is what you could call it, on what you want to do with that actual bookmark. So if we left click on one of them, you can see that we can edit it we can copy it, we can delete it, open it in a new tab, open it in a new window, or open it in an incognito window. And once again, you can do that for every single one of them. The other way to access that menu is just right click on the actual bookmark itself, and you'll actually see that you get that, exactly, that exact same menu. So if we go back a screen, you're gonna notice we're back at the kind of the overview, and you can do that with just about anything. If you hover over the folder ones, left click on the three dots, you can actually rename the folder, delete the folder, you can open up every single bookmark that's in that folder, and then you can open them all in a new window or you can all open them all in an incognito window. So you can do just about anything in this actual bookmark manager when it comes to relating to bookmarks. The world is your oyster, go crazy. That is all there is to it. Thanks for watching this tech tip. If you have somebody that could use this information, give it a like, give it a share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video, and we will see you next time.